all right everyone welcome back to the channel it's november 1st and it has been super slow for us uh, hunting state game lands just not finding i guess any rutting activity right now uh it's super warm the mosquitoes are actually really bad tonight we're back here hunting our ridge uh we have a camera right down over here and it's picking up all kinds of buck activity uh just generally still at night so uh, we're gonna put a little bit of time in here. I have two more days of work and then I'm off for 10 days I'm actually gonna be taking some hikes back a little bit farther in where I know there's some oak uh, My camera's activity has been picking up pretty good in that area. So I'm gonna put in some day hunts But Hagen told me that he's done messing around and he's ready to kill deer tonight So this boy's put in a ton of time uh, He super deserves it and we're gonna see if we can make it happen. If not, we're gonna keep working hard. So that buck came in behind us on his weak side, made a little rub out there, didn't really have a clean shot, but we had a lot of monkeying around to do to try and get set up. He ended up skirting us through this thick stuff at about 40 yards and then just went over. He's probably going to go check that field down there. Uh, we've sat on this ridge a lot this year and that's the closest that we've came to a buck, so uh, it's a good sign. Oh yeah, we need a, somebody to down there pushing them around, huh? So, November 1st, and we're finally seeing some bucks. So, uh, let's see what happens. That would have been a beautiful eight point for him to get. Don't move to your right a little more. Hey, get don't move. Move to your right more. He's coming up right there.
so that smaller buck came down off the hill behind us, made a couple rubs, and went down over towards the field. And I called a couple times. And then right after we were done with our last interview, I looked up and there was a different buck, a little bit bigger eight point at 35 yards. Would have been a beautiful buck for Hagen. And the dang thing stopped right behind a tree and looked for what was making the calls. And then when he didn't see it, he turned around and kind of went almost the exact way that I think he came up here. So with just like that, we had two bucks within 35, 40 yards. Things are starting to pick up. It's looking good. That's a big confidence booster for us. Dad, why do you need two rows and goats? One tree. There's a little small tree placed up. I could have put it, tucked it in the shoulder, and I could have got the tree was in the way. And I'd have to, like, risk it. That's right. Shot. So we could have probably tried to squeeze one in at 40, but uh, it'll be, it'll, no sense forcing it. It'll happen when it's supposed to. Just got to keep putting the time in. This is a good ridge this time of year. We've been kind of waiting and waiting for it to pick up. Uh, should just be better, so see what happens this last 30 minutes of daylight.